paint cans. Simple, humble, useful in so many different ways. From paint and coatings to adhesives to even arts and crafts. The Carry Company carries all the different kinds of paint cans that you might need. All paint cans have a, a few basic components to them. Um, you have your paint can body, which can either be metal or plastic, depending on the can you're talking about. They will all have a lid or a plug on a metal can, of course, that will fit into the metal ring on the can, on a plastic can that will snap in. Cans will also have ears, a bale, chime, most importantly, the lining. On a metal, at least, they will have an inner lining, which can be a unlined, used for solvent-based or oil-based paints epoxy phenolic lined or gray lined, which is mainly used for a water-based product or a latex-based paint. And then you have your gold line cans. A gold phenolic lining is typically used for aerospace coatings. The lining is FDA approved, so it is very popular for storing some food products as well. In addition to that, we carry a hybrid paint can, which is a plastic polypropylene body with a lined metal ring and lid. Uh, that's good for various water-based products. We also carry a all-plastic paint can, which is a complete polypropylene unit, uh, body and lid, and that's also great for water-based products. And there's a lot of benefits to switching to the all-plastic can. Whereas a tin can is very subject to the increases and fluctuations in the tin market, uh, an all-plastic can is made of regrind polypropylene. It's recycled. It's a very green product. The Carry Company is a very green company. We always try to offer a green alternative when that's available in the marketplace. Um, a lot of our plastics are, are considered recyclable. And in addition to that, we carry two specialty kinds of cans. One is a clear PET paint can that is meant specifically for paint. It's not FDA approved though, so it's mainly for the industrial market. We also have our clear art cans, which are made of PET, and then they have a tin top and bottom. Those do not hold liquid, but they're great for solids, and they are FDA approved. As far as picking the can that's right for you, I would recommend calling in and asking for one of our representatives to be able to help you out with that. Um, chemical compatibility is a big thing. Uh, what you're doing with the can, how you're packaging it, how you're shipping it, these are all factors that need to be taken into account when you choose your can.